Ah, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Job Hal Martin and Melody here. Hope you're going well. Wednesday, the yeah tenth. So it's one week left to St. Patrick's Day, my brother's fortieth birthday. Would you believe? So I was calling my mum in Sydney last night, and she told me the sad news that a Catholic priest in her old church and the church I went to growing up until I was 27. Uh, Father Michael O'Callaghan. Yeah, yeah, that's his name. I used to thought he was O'Halligan. Yeah, I also know. Well, we used to know him, Father Mick. He passed away at the age of, I think, like, 79. 79, 79 around that age, yeah. And he had served the church I grew up in for 12 years, from 2002 until 2014. Now... Growing up at St. Michael's Church in Borkham Hills, we had some nice priests, like when I was a child. Like we had, you know, Father Paddy Burr from Ireland, uh, we had Father um, it's really Ian McGinnity, yeah, there was Father Ian McGinnity, um, who was Australian. Then we had Father Henry Duke, who was a Vietnamese refugee, came to Australia after the Vietnam War. And then we had a bunch of wanker priests I didn't like, called uh, you know Father Brian Larkey and Father Kevin Lee. And Father Kevin Lee was a total clown, and he would just say a lot of inappropriate things. And he died in a typhoon in the Philippines a couple of years ago. So when he died, I was like, good riddance. And also, plus he he basically had girlfriends for twenty years in the priesthood, and then one time he just came out and said, "Do oh, I've been." married to a Filipino woman, and so therefore couldn't do his priest jobs anymore. So then Father Mick came in in 2002, and I would always get friendly. He would always introduce me to Mr. Anthony, and the best part was he said Mass uh, in a short period of time. Like, normally Mass goes for an, an hour, but um, <laughs> on Father Mick's watch, Mass would be done in over in 45 minutes. And he would always give, like, really awesome sermons about, oh, you know, how this, a guy on a ship, he puts in a Morse code me message, and one of the passengers basically runs to the uh, captain, and the captain's like, why are you here? I said, well, I heard the Morse code message that if you come to the captain, you'll get a prize, and that's what he did. Um, and also, when I was 20... Father Mick gave me a letter of reference because I was doing a lot of voluntary work at the church. I was, you know, doing the PowerPoint projections, which I did for seven years. And I, uh, and I, I helped out around the church in the youth movement in the early 2010s. And this letter of reference helped me get various jobs in Sydney. Unfortunately, my beliefs of the Catholic Church broke apart in 2013. I blame that on the various women I was sleeping with, escorts, um, my pro-Iranian sentiments with the you know, Iranian government, my um, love for the Armenian people, and a bit of a Marxist and all. And I just don't believe in having to get married or having to have children. And I just don't believe in having to abstain before marriage. I mean, I, I put up my hand and say, hey, look, I am... Um, intellectually disabled, I don't want to get married, I don't want to have kids, I don't want my children inheriting like my b b physical illnesses I have. Uh, can you please give me a whole pass so I can go see escorts like once a month? And the Catholic Church is like, no, no, you have to get married, you have to have children, you have to stay in for marriage, and all these religions are just like that. So, uh, sadly I just like left St. Michael's Church, 2013, 2014, and I just got like no respect for the Catholic Church, it's my own views, but uh, I'm quite honored that I got to know this priest, and even though he wasn't like, you know, like a pedo, like a lot of Catholic priests have been, or like most people in religious authorities have been like that in the last few hundred years or so, it's been really ill when there's been all, you know, child abuse cases in all religious formalities, seriously. So, God bless uh, Father Mick, and and um, glad you're up there in, he in heaven with God. 
and thanks for being an awesome parish priest in Bulkham Hills. I miss you heaps, and I'm glad I got to know you. Anyway, Martin the Millhead, over and out.